hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to make the admin login in our php project so let's get started with it so previously we had made the login system right so now if you see here when i access my admin dashboard i am able to access this page without logging in so we are going to create authentication for that we are going to use this same login page for the admin login and according to the user's role if he is the admin he will be redirected to the admin dashboard else he will be redirected to the home page so first we'll go to our database and inside the users table we will add a column called role as okay to store the user role so in this structure you can see we have got six fields so we will just add a role as column over here let me say after password add one column and say role underscore as and this is going to be a tiny integer tiny int and the default i am going to give it as zero okay click on save and here when a user registers he will get the role as default as zero so for the admin we will just change this to one okay so the admin role as is one and the user is zero so now we'll go back to our login code in your login.php so all this input fields will be same even for the admin so once he's clicking the login button we are going to the auth code.php so let's go to that file so here after the user is logged in we are storing the user data in our session so we are going to create one more session variable over here dollar underscore session of role underscore as is equal to we will store the user role over here so I'll just copy and paste change this to role as and here the field name role as okay copy this variable name and paste it over here so now we will put if condition over here if dollar role as is double equal to one then we are going to redirect the user to the admin dashboard so i'll just copy this thing paste so here when the user role as is equal to one that means if he is the admin we are going to redirect him to the admin dashboard page so for that the path is inside the admin folder index.php so over here just add admin slash index.php the message we will just change it to welcome to dashboard okay and here in the else part we are going to keep this thing okay so we have made the admin login over here and it will redirect according to the user role so now when the user tries to access the admin dashboard through the url he will still be able to open that page so let me just show you just login over here so this is the admin login details login so i am going to my dashboard and we have not integrated that message over here so we are not able to see that so when i just go back and log out and i will log in as a normal user user at gmail.com so here when i try to access the admin dashboard i am still able to see this page so when the user is trying to access this he should be redirected back with a message that you are not authorized as a admin so let's make that so i'll just close this file and go to your admin folder inside your index.php we are going to add some code over here which will check if the user is the authenticated user and he is the admin so what we are going to do is just so we will create a separate file and write the code in that and include it wherever we require the admin authentication create a folder over here in your root directory and name it as middleware and inside that create a new file called admin middleware.php okay 
and here just open close PHP and check if is set of dollar underscore session of auth is true so if the user is logged in only then come inside the save condition else we will redirect the user back to the login page so I'll just copy the code from here copy and paste so instead of calling these two things in every page we will just create a function and import that page in all the pages and call the function wherever we require this code so first we'll just complete this thing say login to continue so if the user is not logged in and trying to access the admin dashboard we will just redirect them to the login.php if the user is logged in we will check the user role so if it is 0 or 1 so write a if condition over here and copy this session variable name session of role as is equal to equal to 0 then we are going to redirect the user back to the index page index page and change the message you are not authorized to access this page save so if you have multiple roles so you can just put over here if user role is not equal to one so if it is not the admin then any other role it will not be allowed to access this page so just save and include this thing in your admin index page say include function and inside the middleware folder call the file name that is admin middleware.php so let us test our code now go back and refresh okay so we got an error over here this folder we have not called correctly so that is because we are inside this admin folder right so we have to just give two dots over here and refresh so just log out and log in as the user say so login user at gmail.com so it is logged in successfully now let me try to access the admin dashboard so we are getting the wrong message over here let us check why so in the admin middleware here we are checking with the session right but we have not started the session on top of the page so that is why it is not able to check and we have included this thing in our index.php and here also we have not started the session so let's go in this header.php includes header.php and start the session on top of the page so over here say open php close php and session underscore start function close and now we'll just test our code refresh and try to access the admin dashboard we have got the message over here you are not authorized to access this page so let me just log out and now try to access see login to continue let me log in as the admin and see if we are able to access it invalid credentials okay so we are able to log into our admin dashboard and to display the session messages in our admin dashboard we are going to use the alertify.js plugin so the message will be popping up over here and stay for a few seconds and then disappear we'll make this button as a logout button so go to your admin dashboard in your sidebar you have it over here I'll just change this link to the logout page say so it is inside the index page right we have included it in the index page so we have to call it from this directory so one step out so double dot slash and it is directly the logout.php and just remove this button type equal to button 
and we'll change the text to logout. Logout, save, refresh. So here it is when I click, okay, logged out successfully. So now let us just make that session message function. So instead of calling this code everywhere, we will create a function inside your functions folder. Create a new file called myfunctions.php. Open close PHP. Create a function or here. Function redirect. Okay. And we are going to take two parameters over here. Dollar URL and the dollar message. Okay. And just copy this thing. So this first parameter dollar URL, we are going to add it over here. Just remove this and put a dot and add it over here. And this dollar message, just copy and paste it over here. Okay. And after this header, just write the exit function. So now wherever we want to redirect the user, we'll just call this redirect function. Include that file over here, include and it is outside this directory. So double dot slash functions, my functions dot PHP. Okay. So now we'll just pass the URL over here. Copy and within double quotes, paste it and the message and paste. So let us just copy that and paste it over here change the message and the file name okay so let us just check this oh, and refresh go to your admin dashboard and you can see that thing is working so just close this and similarly in our login.php wherever we are using this thing session and header location so we will just change this to the redirect function so I have changed all these codes so let us just log in once and check call to undefined function okay we have not uh, included that file on top of the page so here just copy and paste and that thing is inside our same file so we don't have to go outside the directory can just directly call it my functions refresh and here it is logged in and we try to access the dashboard so we have made this admin middleware right so similarly we will be making for the users also so few pages like the checkout page and the cart page we want the user to be logged in so we will implement the user middleware over there so only the authenticated users can enter that page so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the admin login and the admin middleware in our php project so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you